Hello, I'm Dr. Pamela Ruig. I hold the David J. Ellis Chair in Large Animal Clinical Sciences and Antimicrobial Resistance at Michigan State University. And today, as part of our series on antibiotic usage on dairy farms, we're going to be addressing a really practical subject of how to read a drug label and package insert. Now, on dairy farms, veterinarians do the prescribing of antibiotics, but the treatments are given by farm workers. So it's important that farm workers know where to find um, information if they have questions after the veterinarian leaves the farm. Fortunately, there's a source for information about how to give drugs, and those sources include the drug label on the packaging, as well as the package insert, that little tiny folded up piece of paper that comes within our drug packaging. And the combination of those two sources of information allow us to properly administer an appropriate dosage of an antibiotic, ensure food safety by following the right meat and milk withholding periods, and to store and use the drug properly so that the product is efficacious. So in this brief video, we're gonna review how to um, look at these drug labels for both intramammary products and injectable antibiotics. But before we get into that, I got a really important disclaimer. We're going to be showing you some actual product labels. And I wanna stress we are not endorsing these products. We just are using these drug labels to show you where to find the information. Now the information that we're going to find includes the who, the animal class that the drug is approved for, the what, what is the drug, what is the concentration, and what is the appropriate dosage, the when question of what disease should be treated, how frequently should the drug be given, and what is the minimum and maximum dosage, as well as the where, what is the route, is it intramammary, subcutaneous, or intramuscular, and the precautions on the meat and milk withholding uh, periods, the storage conditions, and the expiration dates. All of that information can be found in the combination of both the packaging drug label and the packaging insert. And you can see that one has a lot more information than the other. Let's take a look at um, a label for an intramammary product. This is the packaging for the Today product. This is um, a uh, treatment for mastitis for dairy cows. And we can find the who question right on the very front of the package. This is for lactating cows only for intramammary infusion. In other words, we don't give this to dry cows, we don't give it to calves. This is approved for use only in lactating cows. The what question is, this product contains 12 10 ml syringes and each syringe contains 200 milligrams of cefaparin sodium. So we know what the product is and we know how much is contained in each intramammary syringe. The when and where question is answered really in a basic fashion on the packaging. This says the usual dosage is one syringe per affected quarter each 12 hours for a maximum of two treatments. And then it refers us to the package insert for additional dosing information. The how question, we've got a little picture on this package that shows you you can use either partial or full insertion. But again, in the package insert, we've got a lot more details about proper disinfection of teats and how to really administer this product in a sanitary way. And then we've got on all antibiotics that are approved for use in food animal, we've got important food safety precautions. In this instance, you can see we've got a little box with a red banner. It says, first of all, read the package insert to be sure you know what you're doing. And this is for lactating cows only. Then we got the residue warnings. So we got a milk withholding period for this product of 96 hours after the last treatment. We got a meat withholding period of four days after the last treatment. And it tells us that administration of more than the prescribed dosage may lead to residues of antibiotics in milk for longer than 96 hours. So those food safety precautions are always highlighted on the packaging. And then finally, we've got some important product handling and um, some information about uh, how long the product's good. In this instance, it tells us we need to store it 
at below 77 degrees Fahrenheit. Don't freeze it, avoid excessive heat, and take a look at the top of the flap for the expiration dates. That's the drug packaging. For more details, we can look at the packaging insert. We've got the who listed again. We've got the what in a little more detail, including the carrier. We've got the when in much greater detail. It defines what um, the condition of mastitis really is and um, some of the bacteria that the product has been proven to be efficacious for. We've got the where and how in more details. It tells us how to properly prepare the teats and udder for administration and what to do if the product doesn't appear to be working. And then we've got our food safety cautions brought up again and more about our product handling. So the combination of the two, the packaging insert and the product label tell us a lot about how to properly use these products. Just briefly, injectable products have all the same information. This is a drug label and a packaging insert for XNL RTU EZ. And we've got the WHO. In this instance, it says you can use this product for intramuscular injection in swine, intramuscular and subcutaneous injection in cattle, and this product may be used in lactating dairy cattle, but it is not to be used in calves that will be processed for veal. It tells us what it is, and it's especially important that in this instance, it tells us it's 50 milligram per mil ceftifure because that concentration of the drug is really important for the dosing. And we've got our food safety cautions again on this label, which have different food safety cautions for swine as compared to cattle. Finally, we've got our product handling and expiration date, and it includes in this instance, a warning to shake this product well before you use it, and that the contents should be used within 42 days after the first dose is removed. That's the drug label. Again, many more details about the when, the where, and the how can be found in the package insert. All right, let's just recap. The drug labels and the package inserts together contain important information about how to use and store products properly. To assure appropriate dosing and product handling, you need to review and read and follow those directions on a regular basis. And if you have any questions at all, be sure to ask your prescribing veterinarian those questions to make sure that you know how to properly use a product to maintain animal health and food safety.